We have the anatomy painted on the lower leg and foot here, which we're going over extensively in our program. I'm going to go over some, go ahead and turn around. I'm going to go over the two different calf muscles, the gastrocnemius and the soleus, and how they actually play a little bit different role depending on the position of your knee. So when your leg is straightened, the gastrocnemius actually crosses over and attaches to the femur here. So it's actually going to assist in, go ahead and lift up your leg flex. It's actually going to assist in some leg flexions. If you're ever doing something like a Nordic curl you're, or just a hamstring curl, you might notice that your calves are engaged there as well. Now do a calf raise. Many of you know that the gastrocnemius does a calf raise. And when your knee is straight, that's when the gastroc is going to fire. When you squat down, go ahead and squat, in that squat, getting the weight in the heels, off to the side. When you squat down, the gastrocnemius is fairly squishy here because now it's in a shortened state. The, the, the femurs drop down and this muscle is now shortened. The soleus is now going to be the one that's going to assist in plantar flexing, so doing that calf raise. If you were to come up, now it's this muscle underneath that is engaged while the gastroc is actually fairly squishy. It's this guy that is going to assist you when you're in the bottom of your squats. Say you're coming up out, the out of the bottom of a clean or an overhead squat, a snatch, something along those lines. When you're in the bottom, it's going to be this muscle that's turning on while this guy's relaxing at the bottom. The more you know.